have so many great memories of Miss Barbara, who later in life I called B. I don't have time to share them all. I loved how she loved to laugh, and she could turn what I thought was one of my ordinary stories into something so funny. And each time I saw her, she'd make me tell it over and over. I know Dana can relate. She loved to have me sit on her lap. And she would say, my baby, come sit on my lap. Even one of the last times that I sat on her lap, she seemed so fragile, but I tried to hold myself up and she just pulled me closer. In the 80s, when I came from, from college on the weekends, we would spend time laughing with B and Mama. She told me that she always knew I'd be a good doctor because I had such bad handwriting. I opened my business in North Carolina and B got online and looked over my website. She called me one day and said, I'm very impressed with your website. There aren't any typos. Even over the last several years, if I visited her at Dana's, we would stay up late at night laughing. Her rice aroni tasted so good growing up, even though mine came out of the same box. Hers always tasted better. She and Mr. Bill bought me my first rifle. They always made me feel so special. I guess one of the funniest stories that I can share is when I bought Mama and B some earmuffs. I bought them because they were always complaining that if they came to see me in North Carolina, it would be too cold. So I bought them the earmuffs and they claimed that they were losing hair and especially in certain places that I really don't want to go into on this video. But they began taking the earmuffs off their head and straddling them and walking around the house saying how they had a toupee, but of course not on their heads. I will miss her.